Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. Got a video today from No Simps TV. High value man refuses to pay the bill for a rude woman and leaves. Yeah. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's Chow Time. It's just time for me and you to just separate. Women have no clue. If that was a man that tossed a drink on that man, <laughs> there would have been some fists flying. Stop. 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 Bitch. I tell you, stop. Here, bitch. You know what? Here, bitch. Stop. 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 Mm -hmm. Come out. That was defense. Self defense. I'm gonna f him up right now. I think she got what she deserved because you can't be putting your hands on a man and then expect him to do nothing, and in reality, he actually did nothing apart from being a gentleman. That's why men should stop treating these modern women traditionally. Yeah, he was a gentleman, didn't say anything, and he actually assisted you to get into the pool. It looked like you wanted to get into the pool. And do what this guy did here. Is it gonna be one check or two checks? Am I gonna like it tonight? Not at all. Two checks. Number three, I'm like, let me see if she reached. <laughs> and she looked around. And then, um, looked around, looked around, looked around. Yeah, we both looked and around. Then, um, <laughs> and then, you know what I'm saying? I let it Day sit for a little three? bit. Day number three. Uh, now you're tripping. You wild. You, 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 you are wild. Day number three? You are Day out number of line. Three? Day number three? Out of line. So what do these women expect a man to do? Continue to pay for their meal while the guy gets little to no reciprocation. What he Look at them just like trying to gaslight him. Really? <laughs> Really? Three dates? Three dates? Shut up! You can't even pay for your own meals, you freaking bums! He does get is a set of idiotic rules which he has to play by, as shown in this clip here. Rules for dating. I need to ask you out in four messages, whether that's on an online dating app or a text message. Um, if they in don't ask you out in four messages, messages, they're playing at the end of it, and you can ignore them. Second rule is that if they ask you what your availability is, you don't give it to them. You say, oh, like, you, you can say, like, oh, I can't do Wednesday or um, things like that. But don't just, like, give them availability. They have to pin you down and put in the work. Make them put in the work and be respectful. So it seems like your mood has changed within the last 40 minutes of us sitting here. What's going on? Well, keeping it 100, um, um, my theory is So how I make my money is disrespecting women and trashing women. Should I just be able to just disrespect you and trash you? Like, that doesn't even make sense. Just because I'm a lawyer, that means I can treat you like trash? You're a nobody. Um, you don't think the date started once we physically met one another in the parking lot? Or you think the date starts now? I mean, like it starts now because I'm done talking. I mean, I had to talk to a client. Um, it was an urgent situation. I had to check my emails because my secretary is waiting on me to get back with something. So, I mean, like, I thought maybe you might be a little understanding. Maybe. Now, this might anger some working women, but the guy is 100% correct in this situation. If she wants to do her thing, she can do it, but she has no right to take this guy's time for granted. Because when you are out on a date with someone, then your first priority should be that person who has taken out time from his schedule to meet you. Agreed. When I go out on dates, I don't look at my phone at all. Even I get messages constantly and I have things to check on constantly. But for an hour, their focus is on the date. It almost always is. Rarely would I ever pick up my phone. But as men, we hardly ever get that reciprocation from women. 
Women always want to be on their phone. They want to be fucking on like FaceTime or whatever it is to show their friends whatever the fuck's going on half the time. Seeing that I drove an hour and a half here and I got to drive an hour and a half back, I was on the impression that the date started once I hugged you in the parking lot. And I understand you got this and that going on, but um, I think I'm going to pass on this date right here. And, yeah. That you considered even to go out with me. Like, really? Yeah, yeah, really. For real. Like, I took time out of my day. So, did he? I sit here with you for you to get up and leave me in the middle of a date? Well, you. At least 40 minutes of my time on the phone, doing your email and uh, talking to Papa Smirk or whoever you was talking to. So, but I appreciate it. And, matter of fact, I'll leave a tip. So she is concerned about her time, but never thought about this guy who was sitting right in front of him waiting, so he can talk to her, have a conversation. It's good that he is leaving, and it would be better if no man ever takes this woman out on a date. I'm actually proud of that man. He handled it very respectfully, he handled it very well, and just walked away. Let's talk about why I never paid on the first three dates with a man. Now, I know I'm going to get some heat for this, and I can already hear the haters now saying, that's sexist. Women and men are equal now. It's empowering for a woman to pay for her share of the date. Now, you know what's empowering? Knowing my worth. And if a man doesn't think I'm worth a $10 cocktail or a nice dinner out, he is not my man. And this is not about the fact that I couldn't take myself out for a $10 cocktail or a nice dinner. Because, ladies, you can make your own cash monies, pay for your own ish, be a boss babe at work, and still have a man pay for you on a date because chivalry is just not Look, I am here for all the feminism and women empowerment, but let me just say this. I you can't have both, you fucking whore. I will not let a man use feminism as an excuse to be cheap and lazy. Because men who are cheap with their money are cheap with their time, their emotions, and their willingness to give to you on a much bigger level than just their wallet. Ladies, you gotta really ask yourself if you're reaching for your wallet on the first three dates because you feel like it empowers you, or if you're reaching for your wallet because you feel guilty and deep down inside you don't feel like you're worth a man taking you out. And here's what I'm trying to tell you. Wow, is this chick really wearing like a cape? Like this weird looking cape with this gold chain? She thinks she's some Wonder Woman or something? What the fuck? You are worth it and so much more. You are worth that open bar tab. You are worth that five-star restaurant. You are worth those front row seats. No, you're so here's what I would not. do on the first three dates with a man when the bill came out. I would stare right at him, not even pretending to flinch from my wallet because, honey, I know my worth. And if he doesn't, well, then at least I got a free dinner out of it. <laughs> Bitch, if that was to happen, I would have just walked away. I'm like, oh, you take care of the bill. Later. Yeah, a man is cheap and lazy if he is not doing what you want him to do. But what about the women's part in this situation? Is she only there to complain and enjoy the free benefits she gets? Because if you ask a woman what she brings to the table, then you get responses like this. What do you bring to the table? I'm not going to answer this question. This is just something that I wouldn't answer in a date. I'm not going to answer sure, here. Fine. I'm not going to answer how many books I've read. What do you expect men to bring to the table? Integrity, clarity, consistency, strong connection to divinity, emotional availability, emotional maturity. So what is the female equivalent of that? The same. Then why wouldn't you just say that at the table when he asks you? I don't have a girlfriend because I know that deep down in my heart, I'm an amazing boyfriend. I really am. I'm amazing at that. I'm so great at it, and that's why I don't do it, because I know that being a great boyfriend is exhausting. It is. Like, it's a lot of work, you know, so that's why I don't do it. <laughs> really, man, it's a lot of work, man. To be a great boyfriend, you gotta, like, you gotta answer questions you don't have the answer to. What are you thinking? <laughs> Nothing. Do you believe that? I'm thinking nothing right now. You know, and they they don't stop there. No, it's never. Deeper existential questions. You know, questions like, what's wrong? I don't know what's wrong. That's why I'm watching the game. <laughs> Real meanness. In 2022, why are men on dating apps that don't have intentions on taking women on dates? When did you think it was okay? to ask me to go Dutch, like you from Europe or something. You ain't from the Netherlands, you from right here in Los Angeles. So you know what's up. If you're in a dating app, that means you're going on a date. That means that you're asking a girl to take her somewhere to get to know her. Why are we playing dumb? I don't even understand why we're playing dumb. Are you broke? 
Yes, nine times out of 10, you are broke, which means that no vagina for you because women are looking to date with intention, which means I'm dating you with intentions of you being my boyfriend. You are now being interviewed for my husband. And I'm looking no, it's only like that because now you've hit the wall and you're in your 30s, your mid 30s. Now you're dating intentionally, but in your 20s, riding that carousel and just riding all that cock the qualities in a husband that would be able to take care of a family. So if you can't even afford a cup of coffee, yo, stay in your lane and don't match with me. You saw my pictures, you saw the quality. I mean, I look just like my pictures. And on top of that, I got Getty images as my profile pics. Getty images, I'm about that life. You know what life that is, that's not the life you live because clearly you're a bum. Don't date if you can't afford to date. Let that be the motivation to drive for you to make something of yourself. So you can actually have some money to take a girl out on a $60 date. Shout out to No Sim TV. You know, women always say, if you don't have enough money, don't date. What's the opposite of that for women? If you're too overweight, don't date. If you're too ugly, stay home. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.